This tutorial will demonstrate how to register two dot product DP scans in relation to each other utilizing April tags in dot 3D Pro 3.2 or higher. To check which version you're running from within dot 3D you can navigate to settings about as we see here we're running version 3.2.2. The example shown in today's video includes two scans of a house the first floor in one scan and the second floor in another and this is a great example of why you might want to link two scans together accurately at an overlapping point. In this case the overlap between the first and second floor is the staircase which is why you see these three strategically placed April tags in the area of the staircase. It's important to have a minimum of three overlapping tags between the scans you're trying to register in DOT3D. We've already captured and optimized both scans and this video is going to be focusing on the procedure to then link the two scans to each other based on those three overlapping April tags. So once both scans have been captured and optimized, you'll want to reopen the first scan, or otherwise whichever scan you're going to be setting your coordinate system to, and make sure you're happy with the location of the X, Y, Z axes. In this case, you see we already have it set in the corner. This looks like a great location. You can always reset in the Edit Coordinates function. If we're happy with our coordinate system, we're going to then move forward with exporting the April tag locations from our first scan so they can be utilized to reference the second scan. So we go to File, Export April Tags, and see here that our 11 tags have been detected properly. Then select Export, name your target file, and select OK. Next, make sure you check the box for simple format. This is important as this is what indicates that the targeting file to be exported is meant to be read easily back into DOT3D as a simple target file. Also make sure you have your coordinate system set as you prefer, in our case as user defined, and then select export tags. Now that we've exported the April tag locations from the first scan, we're going to open up the second scan. From file open and let it load into DOT3D. Here we see the second scan of this house under construction. In this case, the second floor. And you notice that we've captured that same staircase with those three April tags in both scans. To load the April tag locations into the second scan, we want to go to Edit Targets. And this will allow us to load the April tag targeting file. So leave it checked to use April tag targets and press Next. And on the next screen, you'll be given the option to load slash save in the top right corner. Here you can load the April tag file we just created, .txt, and select OK, and then verify the units and the coordinate system handedness, select OK again. Now you'll see each of those April tag IDs with their XYZ location listed out here on the left, including the three most important ones from our overlapping area. Then you can select Next to import these target locations into the targeting wizard. It will crunch on it for a while and then spit out a report indicating in this case that the target fit was successful and that we have met our minimum of three targets required. So we hit next and are then ready to close out of our targeting wizard with the close button on the bottom right. And now we're going to save this scan into the new coordinate system by going to file, save as. I'm going to rename it in order to reference that I had used the targeting workflow this time around and make sure that I have the control target selected during my save or export process. Now since you can only load one scan into DOT3D at a time, I'm going to switch over to Autodesk Recap as an example of how the scans will line up nicely in relation to each other based off of this registration. So I've opened up the first scan, as you see, of the first floor, and then the second scan of the second floor. And based on that three target registration that we performed in DOT3D, they line up very, very nicely here in Recap or in other third-party applications.